Hello, this is Dr. Guru Prasad, but I am one of the consultants in pulmonology in Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. I uh, want to uh, talk about asthma, uh, particularly on the World Asthma Day. Um, just to um, describe uh, the disease, uh, as you are all aware, asthma is quite a common disease. It is a disease where people get uh, symptoms of uh, chest tightness, breathlessness, wheezing and uh, they end up requiring a lot of medications. Uh, some of them uh, who are severe enough require uh, hospitalizations. So all of this can be treated and uh, we can avoid uh, hospitalizations, admissions and uh, the patients can lead an uh, entirely normal uh, life with a good quality of life if uh, they follow the doctor's advice. Um, to uh, summarize, um, the precipitating factors for these asthma attacks uh, can be uh, things like uh, environmental uh, factors, viral infections, bacterial infections, uh, which uh, generally are more during uh, environmental changes or season changes, um, and uh, infections as well. Of course, uh, uh, household uh, dust, uh, uh, pollution, uh, uh, grass pollen, tree pollen and uh, of course uh, uh, the patient induced factors such as smoking can all uh, precipitate asthma attacks. Um, symptoms of asthma are mainly breathlessness, wheezing and uh, chest tightness. This may be accompanied by infection symptoms such as fever, cough, uh, productive sputum. Um, the main uh, treatment for asthma or rather the prevention of asthma is using inhalers on a regular basis. Whenever there is an asthma attack, uh, the patients have to uh, make sure they uh, see their uh, pulmonologist and take medicines accordingly. Uh, the uh, patients may need additional uh, medicines including antibiotics or an increase in the dose of the inhalers. They, uh, will need uh, tests such as uh, breathing tests which is spirometry and uh, um, uh, tests such as x-rays and a blood tests to look at infection, allergy uh, and treatment accordingly. Um, treatment wise as I said earlier inhalers are the main line of treatment but when one becomes very unwell they would need uh, tablets or injections of uh, other medications. Um, and uh, taking inhalers and medications regularly and seeing the doctors, pulmonologists regularly will uh, help to prevent these uh, hospitalization or attacks from happening. Um, so that would explain the uh, treatment aspect. Um, coming to um, prevention or long-term uh, management, um, apart from taking inhalers, uh, patients with the asthma should also take uh, uh, flu and uh, pneumonia vaccines to try and prevent uh, these infections. They have to treat any associated diseases such as uh, diabetes or uh, heart disease which can uh, contribute to these uh, asthma attacks. Um, Finally, um, if I have to summarize the whole thing, um, people uh, with asthma should realize that it is uh, a completely uh, controllable and treatable disease. Um, the quality of life can be quite good and the patients can survive as good as any uh, non-asthmatic person. However, this can only happen if inhalers are taken on a regular basis as advised by the doctors and uh, appropriate measures are taken like vaccinations and uh, regular visits to the um, uh, outpatients uh, to see the pulmonologist uh, to make sure that the asthma is under good control. Thank you.